Now we move forward to the second type of hypersensitivity reaction also known as cytotoxic reaction type 2 hypersensitivity or the cytotoxic reactions. So the basic mechanism of the type 2 hypersensitivity is mediated by the antibodies. So here the antibodies plays a very important role. They are directed toward the endogenous or the exogenous specific antigens which are present on the cell surface or the extracellular matrix. We will understand the mechanism in detail through a diagram but let's see what are the conditions and how is the mechanism followed. So immune reaction categorized by the type 2 hypersensitivities are also known as a cytotoxic hypersensitivity and the main uh, IgG or immunoglobulins which uh, play an important role in type 2 are IgG G and immunoglobulin M. These are the two immunoglobulins which are playing an important role in the type 2 hypersensitivity reactions. So these antibodies bind to the cell surface antigens or the matrix associated antigens on the basement membranes and the antibodies then activate two parts the complement system resulting in an inflammatory response resulting in the lysis of the targeted cells, complete destruction of the cells. And the second mechanism which we will see is, it involves an antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity with the presence of the cytotoxic T cells. So these are the main important uh, mechanisms that are seen in the type 2 hypersensitivity reactions. We will see the examples, the important examples dealing with it. The other things is the process is opsonization and the complement FC receptor mediated. Second is complement and FC receptor mediated inflammation. And the last one is the antibody mediated cellular dysfunction. So let's see the diagrammatic representation for the type 2 hypersensitivity reaction also known as the cytotoxic reaction. Let's start with a very important example and this is very important MCQ point of base. The hemolytic transfusion reaction is an example of the type 2 cytotoxic reactions or type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. The mechanism which is followed in the hemolytic transfusion reaction is of opsonization and complement and FC receptor mediated phagocytosis. So this is the mechanism which we are following or which we are going to see through this diagrammatic representation. So let's study a case. The person is the uh, a uh, donor is a type A blood group here. So this is a type A blood group donor and the recipient is type B blood group. So what will happen in this case? When a donor is giving a blood to a type B uh, uh, blood group, type A antigen will enter the blood group of type, a, type B person and antibody A, anti-anti-A antibody is produced in the type B blood group person. So donated type A blood with a type A antigen enters the blood uh, bloodstream of the B recipient, type B recipient. Secondly, as a result of the antigen which has entered the bloodstream, the anti-A antibodies in the plasma of the type B recipients binds to the antigen. This is the binding occurring between the anti-A antibody and the a antigen. So this reaction is occurring here by a type A blood donor and type B recipient donor. And here what will happen the bound anti A antibody activates the complement ca cascade. So activating the complement system or the immune response of the recipient resulting in the destruction of the hemoglobin causing hemolysis and the release of the hemoglobin. So this is how the whole hemolytic transfusion reaction occurs due to the opsonization and activation of the complicated complement cascade releasing in hemoglobin by the destruction of the red blood cells. Let's see the examples for the type 2 hypersensitivity reaction by the three different mechanism which it acts on. The first one is by opsonization and the complement and FC receptor mediated phagocytosis. This is an important mechanism through which the type 2 hypersensitivity is seen. 
or also known as the cytotoxic antibodies to blood cells reaction. So the examples I have already discussed through a diagram is the transfusion reactions. You can see this kind of mechanism in the transfusion reactions. Then erythroblastis fetalis, we can see these reactions. Then autoimmune hemolytic anemia, where you can see the lysis of the blood cells and here autoimmune thrombocytopenic purpura. So these are the four important conditions which you have to remember that acts by opsonization and the complement and FC receptor mediated phagocytosis. The second mechanism is by the complement cascade and the FC receptor mediated inflammation. Here the examples you will have to remember is the glomerulonephritis. This is the condition which occurs in which type 2 uh, hypersensitive reactions may occur. The acute rheumatic fever and the graft rejection. So graft rejection comes or acts through the complement and the FC receptor mediated inflammation. The third type is the antibody mediated cellular dysfunction or the cytotoxic antibodies to tissue components also called this is also known as the type 5 another name. Please make note of this point hypersensitivity. So when the sign uh, Hypersensitivity occurs due to cytotoxic antibodies itself. It is also known as a type 5 hypersensitivity and examples for this are myasthenia gravis in which it, uh, the action is against the acetylcholine receptors. Then is the Graves disease against TSH receptors. Then comes the pemphigus vulgaris against the epidermal catherine and the pernicious anemia which occurs against the intrinsic factors. So remember the factors and the condition itself and the last one is the insulin resistant diabetes that is type 1 diabetes mellitus against the insulin receptors. So these are the three conditions or the three main types of mechanisms on which type 2 hypersensitivity occurs and their uh, respective examples which you have to remember for the exams. Let's discuss another very important example related to the type 2 hypersensitivity reaction is the erythroblastosis fetalis condition. So what happens in this condition is when a mother who is Rh negative conceives a fetus with Rh positive red blood cells. The Rh positive red blood cells will enter into the mother's circulation which will release anti-Rh antibodies produced upon exposure to the fetal Rh antigen. This is the first exposure which is occurring resulting in the production of the anti-Rh antibodies. Now the anti-Rh antibodies remain in the circulation and it crosses the placenta. It has the ability to cross the placenta. So at the first time when a mother is conceiving for the first time there would not be a problem. But now these anti-Rh antibodies are already present in the mother's circulation. So for the second time pregnancy when the mother conceived for the second time again with the Rh positive fetus and the Rh negative mother the maternal and the already present anti-Rh bodies attack and destroy the fetal red blood cells. This hemolytic reaction of the fetus is known as the erythroblastis fetalis and becomes type 2 hypersensitivity reactions. So on first exposure or for first conceiving there is no problem but when the second subsequent exposure occurs the antibodies are already present in the blood circulation which leads to um, hemolysis of the fetal red blood cells. So to prevent this how will you manage this condition? This is the management. So when there is first pregnancy with the Rh positive fetus and Rh anti-Rh antibody treatment can be given. Already so anti, uh, uh, the Rh positive blood cells will enter into blood circulation and during pregnancy itself the anti-Rh immunoglobin is injected in the mother's circulation. So anti-Rh antibodies bind and they inactivate. The treatment will be they already will inactivate the fetal Rh antigens and there would not be any in immune response from the mother circulation resulting or preventing the condition called the erythroblastosis fetalis. So this is a very important part and one should remember the whole each and every word of this slide. We have got very important and key points in, in terms of the meritomonics 
So you can remember the examples of the type 2 hypersensitivity reaction through this meritomonics. My blood group is Rh positive. This sentence you remember and you will remember the examples related to the type 2 hypersensitivity reactions. So what my stands for? My stands for myasthenia gravis. Blood, here blood transfusion reactions which is a type 2 again. Group stands for good pasture syndrome and Graves disease. You can see the G, G factor. The IS stands for insulin resistant diabetes. R stands for rheumatic fever. H stands for the hyperacute graft rejection which is also a type 2 hypersensitivity and positive stands for pernicious anemia and the pemphigus vulgaris. So this meritomonics will help you to remember all the examples of type 2 hypersensitivity reaction through one sentence. So you can use this to remember this examples. My blood group is RH positive. Let's move forward to the other frequently asked question. This is which of these is true about the antibodies. So let's go through all the options carefully. First option is IgM is an acute phase reactant. Is it true? Yes, IgM occurs or the formation of the antibodies occur in the first exposure. So this is correct. Second option, secretory part of IgA is synthesized by plasma cells. No, this is wrong because plasma cells gives to IgE. Then comes the third option that is IgM is seen in secondary response. No, it is a primary acute phase reactant. So it is not seen in the secondary response. So this is again wrong. So fourth option is IgM mediated delayed hypersensitivity. No, because IgM is not the mediator of the delayed hypersensitivity. It is the T cells which are the mediator of the delayed hypersensitivity. So out of after going through all the options, the only option which is true or according to question which is asked what is true is the first option and the answer for this question. The other question which we are discussing is Graves disease is which type of hypersensitivity? Now this is the question from the examples which I have discussed in the lecture. So we have got some meritomonics I told you. So if you remember or, or try to remember those meritomonics this answer is a direct short question. So here the Graves disease is a type of type 2 reaction which is the answer for the question and the metromonic which I told you was my blood group is RH positive. So here group was the word which was denoting for the Graves disease. It is a type to hypersensitivity. This is how you can use the meritomonics to answer such direct questions and score in the exams.